Hey, welcome back to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. I'm Claire. If you missed the little intro that we did before, this evening I am going to be making um, a cartoon style cake to go with these cute little cupcakes made for a video today. So, um, I have with me in the kitchen currently Simon. Carol Hello. <laughs> Hi. Carol will be joining us moment, mo 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 in a minute. <laughs> Um, so yeah, tonight we're going to do a really funky cartoon cake. Um, I'll pop these to the side for a moment. So before we get started, the things that I'm going to use tonight um, mostly are the um, Colourpop Cocoa Colours, which I've put somewhere. Find where I've put those in a minute. And I'm going to be using our own brand of sugar paste. So I'm actually going to work on a dummy tonight um, because I need some dummies for a show. So I'll be working on a dummy and the dummy that I'm going to use is, drag it in, this one which is the 6 by 8 So I'll be covering this dummy and I will be uh, decorating it as well. But I'm, going to, I'm not panelling this, I'm going to cover it in one go with our sugar paste, show you how good that is. And then we'll be doing some really cute decorations, making some cherries, making some sprinkles, and doing a nice drip effect on here as well. So it's gonna be a really, really good night. So there's an offer on the sugar paste at the moment, isn't there it, is, Carol? Yeah. I think it's three pounds off, is three it? Three pounds off, yeah. Which makes it 14 pounds, 13 pounds, yeah. <laughs> close for five kilos, which is an absolute bargain. Uh, so that's what I'm going to be using tonight. So I'm going to use our white sugar paste, our red sugar paste, our black sugar paste this evening, and I'm going to colour some as well. So, shall we get started? Have we, have we got a nice audience building? I've got to be honest, I'm not there yet. We've got a lovely audience, yes. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay. A lot of love for your glasses, Claire. Okay, Claire, you it sex. Yeah. Oh, you didn't go with the ones that you were going to go with? Never have that. These are my readers. Oh, They're my distance right. specs that you helped me choose. Hey. Eh? Yeah, so um, all, all the specs in the world I've got at the moment. So let me just find what I did with them. I put them at the other end of the kitchen for safekeeping. So this is what I'm going to use tonight, Colourpop Cocoa Colours. That's what I'm going to be colouring my paste with. Pop those to the side for a minute. And I think I'll just probably crack on with covering this cake so it's got time to fill up a little bit before we do anything else. Right, well, we've got a lovely audience, Claire. We're 115, we've just only opened up, so that's great. Yes. And it's a very hot night tonight. It is, isn't it? 30 today. What was you where you were? 30 today. 30 where I was, Carol. Yes. Where was it with you, Claire? I, I believe it was 30. I've been here today. <laughs> if you guys tell me it's 30, it was 30. 30. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to let Simon answer some comments in a minute okay. because I'm going to go and get my big iPad. Oh, Deb's Bowditch, what is Claire making, please? Cartoon cake. Cartoon Debs. cake. Very exciting. Big cartoon cake. Really big the, cartoon cake. With the to go with my cartoon so, cake. I'm going to hand over to Simon in a minute while okay. I go and get my iPad. Let me and Sam just pop. 32 in London. Deb says. Let me just pop a coloured board hmm. behind that cupcake so you can see it better. Can you see? Tracy says it was I'm 24 in our show. You can see that a little bit better now, can't you? From the front. Yeah, do you want me to zoom in on that first? Oh, it's alright. Cool, I'll, I'll do that. Alright, you can zoom in if you like. There we go. Mm, that way. That way. There you go, you can see it a bit better if I hold the board in front of me. My t-shirt's too jazzy today, I think, isn't it? Yeah, you, you didn't think that's right. I did. Oh, okay, you did. I want it to be just as jazzy as what I'm making, so... Oh, okay. Hence the jazzy shirt. Pop that back and lift this one up. This is exciting. Made for a video today. Look forward to that appearing in your feed. Nope. Ouch. <laughs> It does sound like a proper whip crack, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you saying ouch isn't ouch. helping. <laughs> okay, so this is what five kilos of our sugar paste looks like. And it's fabulous stuff. So it comes in two packets inside? Yes, two, two and a half kilo packs. 
inside. So I'm just going to grab one of those. I can pop this back over here. And then whenever I've opened a box, I just want to wipe my surface down quickly, just because you always tend to get a little bit of cardboard fuzz, don't you? You know what I mean by cardboard fuzz. I've got an important question. Uh -huh. What are the boxes on the right corner of the unit? So that's Claire Thompson's asking. The right corner. Um, boxes. The there. by left. Can you? The right, yes. Them. These are the um, 10 inch window boxes. I'm not entirely sure what they are called on the website. Carol will be back in a second. She'll tell you what they're called. But um, yeah, they hold a 10 inch cake. Uh, I think they're um, presentation boxes, 10 inch presentation boxes because they have that lovely big window in them and there's loads of different designs. Four, eight, uh -huh, 14, I can see there. Uh, but yeah, they're fab and they're a really good price as well, which Carol will also tell you about when she comes back. I'm not, the, I'm not a prices person. New themed window cake boxes, says Karen Naylor. How much are they now, Fabulous. Karen? What's the offer on them, Karen? Do you know? Yeah, Karen will sort it out. Thank you, Karen. Put this back over. Now, I'm, I'm giving myself plenty of sugar paste to do this because it is such a tall cake. Uh, six inches by nine inches is quite a big boy for covering in one go. So let's give this a good knead. Might have a little bit of colour on my gloves, I hope not. So a good knead to just get this nice and pliable before we cover our cake. Has anyone mentioned Nicholas Lodge? You two mentioned it. No. no. Right, everyone, can I just say, um, you've all heard about Nicholas Lodge, the sad passing of him today. Very, very sad. I can't tell you how shocked I was when I learnt the news last night. Um, it was late last night, which American time, I can only think was afternoon for them, wasn't it? Because I think I put a post up later on. I don't know what's happened. Looks like he was on holiday. Um, I just, um, you know, we just send our... Best wishes to Scott, his husband, and I really just don't know what to say. We liked him, we loved his products, I thought they were amazing, and you know what, what a lovely chap. Yeah. Very, very sad loss to the world. So I'm not going to discuss it anymore because we've got a feed to get on with, um, but I've already put posts in all the groups on my, own, on my own page, and you've all commented, really very sad, and I do think that the world's been painted green today, yeah. hasn't it? It's green everywhere yeah. you look on Facebook. So that just shows you how well yeah, he was well, liked. An impact he had, yeah, how well exactly. liked he was in the industry. Yeah, yeah exactly. So that's really very good. So um, if you all want to just put some little love hearts and emojis for him, some little care signs, that would be great. But, um, you know, we're going to move on and do the live tonight. All right, then. So I'm just going to apply a little coat of track. So, so would you, before we move on, if you could answer this question about the boxes, Carol, what's the upper price on the, the window boxes? Oh, right, they are, I've got to be honest, I don't know. So I think they're £1.69. They should be two twenty-five. We have them on the website at one ninety-nine, And I have a feeling I might have put them on at one sixty something That right. is ringing bells for me. Pardon? That's ringing bells for me. Is it? Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure it's about that. So I'm just getting my comments up, everyone, so I can catch where you Yeah, perfect, ladies. Green hearts across the screen. Absolutely perfect. Very, very sad. And um, a massive shock to everybody, I think. I just, I don't know anybody. Just total big shock. Right, okay then. So we do have, so Jane McDougall has confirmed that the presentation boxes in the back there are £1.69. They're actually called square cake boxes, square window cake boxes, I think. Um, we do have the wish list up, but we've got lots of offers on that Claire told you about before. And there's also a deal on shipping as well. 
So John put a post in the Make It Bake It group so you can upgrade, really, I think it's 99p to upgrade to priority shipping, which is great. Um, I think that's if you spend over £40 though, so when you get your order for free shipping, you can then upgrade it to priority for 99p, um, if you take a look at that. What else have we got on offer, Claire? Let me just find her, the email from John. Just getting the excess tracks off my hands there. The sugar paste is always a great offer to have anyhow when that comes out. Yeah. So I know you're... That's a really that. good deal. Oh, that's it. We've got offer, offers on the hologram and rose gold set. That's and it. Holes. I went completely that's blank it, yeah. when you said, what is it, so, Claire? I was like, yeah. Yeah. So the, the hologram and rose gold set of 12 nozzles. Now they're £21.98. Now these are a massive bargain, okay? So that means you're gonna get 12 nozzles in those gorgeous colors of rose gold and hologram, six hologram, six rose gold, 14 pound 95, that's a saving of seven pound and three. And the rose gold set is 12.99, reduced to 9.99, saving three pound. Ruffles and swirls and ruffles, set of four, 12.99, reduced to 8.99, set of four. And the set of eight nifty nozzles, $16.99 reduced to $11.99 saving five pounds okay and then your sugar paste is $16.95 three pound off $13.95 so they're all in the wish list so if you want to find the wish list pop along to the website which is sugarandcrumbs.co.uk in the tabs there you'll see FB live wish list pop into July top one is Claire Corbett and everything that Claire is using tonight is in there including all the offers but I may not put the square boxes in so you might have to go to boxes for them okay, I've just got a Green J McDougall crazy prices yeah. <laughs> right okay then so I know it's a sad day not to be you know we want to, we want to it's a very sad day but we still have to be cheerful so let's get back and have some fun in the kitchen tonight yeah. we've got a fabulous audience of 200 so that's great super okay i'm just get a couple of air bubbles where i've been needing it so just knock those out what do i always forget to get out when i'm covering a cake every time smoothies <laughs> never remember to get my smoothies out so i'll have to just bob and grab those I know it's August, Susan. What have I just said? Have I said July or something? The wish list says July uh, forward slash August. Right, so you're going to show them how super easy it is to roll out sugar paste, Claire. So what top tips have we got tonight then? on sugar paste so sugar paste really is just speed you want to be quick and you don't want to be too thick but you also don't want to be too thin no being a little bit short doesn't matter that's not a big deal but the biggest tip of all is never ever ever cover on top of your turntable yes. never no never if I catch you doing it, I'll be straight round yours, giving you a right telling off. It's, uh... We had a lady many, many years ago who was a fantastic cake decorator, and she was nervous on the line, and she just didn't think she did it on top of the turntable, and oh, it was a disaster. And it all dropped down. It all dropped down. It all it all stretched everywhere. Yeah. So a couple of top tips there, ladies. When you're rolling out your sugar paste, get on with it. Okay. Don't over knead it. Uh, get on with it. Roll it out and get it onto your cake, okay? And don't sit your cake on top of the turntable, it will stretch. Right. Susan Roof says, the sugar paste is fabulous to work with, I love it. Uh, Tracy McKay says, love, love, love this sugar paste, not just saying that either. Thank you, Tracy, that's a massive compliment from you, who is the cake sculptress, so we're very pleased with that. And I have to say, we have sent it out to all our tutors and they love it. Um, Karen Davies said she loved it, she was really pleased. She got a sample off Marion Frost, who loves it, Marion Frost is going wild for it, she likes it. She's actually putting Tylo in it and using yeah, it for her cutters. Yeah, she it for all sorts so, of yeah, Which is great. 
Okay. Yeah, Karen, if you cover your um, cake on a turntable, you're actually making your work really very, very hard. Take it off and try it not on the turntable and you're gonna go, oh my God, why have I not missed that trick? She's a show us of those on the turntable. Yeah, just because you've got nothing underneath to support the excess paste, so it will start to, to pull and drop. And Kit Curran says, I love the sugar paste now because you don't need to knead it so much. Yeah, it doesn't take a lot of kneading at all. And I will tell you, our sugar paste tastes absolutely delicious. Really, very, very nice. Uh, Karen Davies sugar paste is one of my favourites, toasted marshmallow. And I would say ours is like a combination of vanilla and toasted marshmallow. It's delicious. Mm. That's one of the big problems with it, eat, trying not to eat it. Right, that's your next top tip. Put it on. Smooth out the top, and then get this top couple of centimetres or an inch attached, first thing that you do. As soon as you get that attached, that will stop this corner here from pulling and stretching and becoming all sort of elephanty. Okay, and once you're happy with how you've got that attached, you can start working your way down the cake. So I lean over and work on this side here. So yes, you stay on that camera and you'll not get the top of my head. I know that you you know what I'm like when I'm doing this. So thank you for very hard to, me. isn't it? So um, Jane McDougall says, I love the sugar paste. It's so lovely. And remember this product is not the sugar paste, okay? There's a brand called the sugar paste. This is SNC sugar paste, it's called Velvet Sugar Paste, okay? So there's a brand called The Sugar Paste and there's a brand called Velvet Sugar Paste, which is sugar and crumbs. So I'm just gonna read what Jane said there because she said, I love the sugar paste. So we'll rephrase that, she means she loves ours. Mm -hmm. And um, it's lovely to paint on too, which we saw what she painted with, which was beautiful. Yeah, it was, With the new uh, ColourPop colors and cocoa butter. Beautiful hummingbird. So if you ever see anything that I tag Claire Corbett in, it's because I think it's worthy of going on our Instagram. Yeah. So Claire is aware of that. So what she does is she saves them. So don't ever be surprised if you suddenly see something that you've made appear on our Instagram account. Mm -hmm. It's because we just like, we just love it so much. And because it's one of our own products, and you know, if you've made something and it's not really our products, we may not say anything, but if you've used our products, then we'll do our best to um, get it out there. Karen Alt said, it's brilliant paste, easy to work with, smells and tastes lovely. Yeah, the smell is gorgeous. It's not like some brands are really sickly smelling, aren't they? Yeah. This isn't, this is just really... Yummy. Doesn't taste, it doesn't taste, it doesn't smell overly sweet when you're working with it, but it's no. got that beautiful vanilla flavour when you, um, I'm not trying any. It's a slippery slope. Yeah. So Lee Gillen says tonight. you make covering it look so easy. Yeah, I mean, it and looks a bit... covering a dummy is actually very hard, isn't yeah. it? Harder than a cake. It is harder. Because it's slipping around. Normally, Claire would um, put a nail in underneath um, a board and then sit the dummy on that because uh, a dummy is very, very light. And then while you're trying to push against it, it's sort of slipping all the time. Yeah. working your way around the cake. So just keep opening the pleats and securing. So I'm really looking forward to see what Claire makes tonight. Mm -hmm. um, I've been watching her today to make these little cupcakes in the kitchen and they are super cute and super hot. You're, yummy. Have you shown them? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be getting them out again shortly because we'll pop all this together to make a nice display piece. Yeah, so what you'll see is, is that, uh, I've just seen there that um, somebody said about the best before day. Well, how best before dates are, it means that um, 
it means that it's suitable to eat after it's passed its best before date. Now our best before date on our sugar paste is six months. Um, the reason for that is because it's a new product, okay, what we have to do is we have to use it for six months and then we then have to leave it another three or four months and then test it, okay? So, um, put your hair on the cake. I'm oh, sorry. So, <laughs> so, dummy. Yeah, I know it's <laughs> a dummy, bad, but yeah. just in case anybody's watching who doesn't know it's a yeah. dummy. Um, so, so what we have to do is we have to leave it another, generally you leave it another four to six months and then you test it at that point and if it's still good, then what happens then is you get approved then for having a 12 month date on it and then you leave it for another six months. So our very first batch is stored somewhere um, at the warehouse, so we keep that and then we test it in, in well, we'll test it after the six months and we'll, we'll, we'll basically we test it in a year. Okay, and then we'll give it a 12 month. And then after 18 months, we'll go on and we'll do it a bit more, but you have to have it approved, you see. So that's why it has the six months on it. And just remember, it's not a use by, it's a best buy. You do need to store it in a cool place. You do need to be careful when you're storing sugar paste, okay? So always make sure it's all well sealed. Rachel Hanno always comes in and gives me a bit of grief because we don't seal ours up properly, which Claire was mortified because she goes, hang on a minute, I do seal it properly. <laughs> Um, so, and Deb's Bowdish said she would never even attempt to cover a t tall dummy. So, um, yeah, so don't worry about best before dates. They're actually going to ban it in 2026. I can't freaking wait. There's so much food wastage in the world because people just throw things away and they don't realise what there's a best before and there's a use. A use, you use, and a best before, you use your common sense, you sniff, you smell, you taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's really good. So uh, Elizabeth Simpson says, I plan to use the sugar paste for the cake. I had to decorate it last week. I had used some out of the packet, but had made the mistake of not sealing the packet well. When I needed it, there was a few small lumps. It's, it's as some of the edge bits have dried out. My mistake and nothing to do with paste, lesson learned. And that's it, you will get little dry bits in it. So if you leave it out or it's open, you know, and that happens to all sugar paste. Um, mm -hmm. But just have a look how many you've got. Most of the time you'll be able to sort it out. Just cut them out. You can even soften them by putting them in the microwave, but be very careful when you're putting it in the microwave. Just a little 10, 15 second blast. Now, I'm right at the bottom of my last bit here. And because this is such a tall dummy, I have got a tiny little pleat there that I can rub that out, no problem with my smoothers. Lindsay Pearson says she loves your top, Claire Chick. You <laughs> Hi, Chick now. Oh, yeah. That's been a, a running one for a little while now. Check. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So do you, what do you put on your dummy? Do you put treks on it? Yes, or? there's yeah. treks on there. Just yeah. means that I can um, not have it. If I put water on, it'd be stuck, stuck. Yeah, yeah. That's right, I'm boiling now. Yeah. Do you want to open the door? Uh, the girl who never wants the door open. Yeah, so another little trick there. If you put water on, it's stuck, stuck, as Claire says. But if you want to reuse your dummies, put treks on and it peels off nicely. Please don't put your dummies in the dishwasher full of tre uh, full of sugar paste. I know everybody says I do it all the time, but it's really not good for you for your dishwasher, and Please your dishwasher rain. will not be very happy. Won't thank you for it. Will no, it? no, it really won't. Look how much of that I've got left. Loads, absolutely yeah. loads. And how much should you chop over. into there? Do you know? Uh, I can weigh what I've got left yeah. plus this, and it'll tell me how much I've used. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the scale just down there. That'd be good. Cool. Oh, right, scale, scale, scale. So Andrew Lucas says, when I get to the last bit, it rips. Why does it do that? Are you talking about our sugar paste or you generally, your genuine, genuine rolling out? So this was two and a half kilos that Claire used, okay? Our sugar paste has a fantastic stretch in it as well. So if and we I'm just put it on the scales. That so that I can make sure it's all on there not hanging over the edge and not weighing. Uh, so I have used 400 grams for that, just under 400 grams. Yeah. So I know when we sent some to Sicily, she did a two tier cake, plus covered the board and didn't, didn't even use two and a half kilos. So she was well pleased. And 
Monday Harvey's made fudge marshmallows and don't forget the bean at brittle. Blooming gorgeous. So Monday Harvey's coming over to the kitchen tomorrow. Looking forward to meeting her. Tracy is watching the live on the bus. <laughs> smoother out but I didn't get out before there you go it is the younger generation because Paula Riley said my daughters always used to chuck everything because of the best before dates it drove me mad but after a few telling offs they've started checking first I've got to be honest my eldest son Wesley who is 42 drives me insane if it's a best before date, he throws it away. Now my son, who is a top chef, has tried speaking to him about it. He said, Wesley, it's a use before date. <laughs> use your nose. I don't know where me that size one's gone. That size one has gone. That colour, am I right with that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where me Pretend this is red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're the same brand anyhow. They used to be blue, but we changed them to red. Yeah, and too much corn flour or rice and sugar will kill the sugar paste. Yeah, I didn't use any tonight. Have the new Colourpop arrived? They are in London and they've been sat there since last week. It's driving me insane. I've just got a little, little update. I don't even know who I can contact about it. Just let me have a little look at the update. Still under processing. It's been there since the 5th of August. How many days is it then? Five. Five, yeah. Give me nothing. Well, but you have to be care you have to be um you have to be careful with customs anyhow. If I get on the phone and start moaning at them, I might have to wait another month. Mm. But um, I might just uh, see if we can send them a lovely little email and tell them how friendly I am. <laughs> see if they can get their finger out and get it moving. So, um, Alice, um, oh, I don't know how to say your surname, Alice. But she says she's really picky about the sugar paste and I use this and it looks fab. I must give oh, it a go. So, so far all our tutors have used it, which is Claire, Jerry Chu, Marion Frost, Karen Davies, um, Rachel Hanna, um, who else has been here using it? Um, Sean Forward Martin, yeah. um, Cicely. Um, there's actually lots and we've sent it out to people as well and they're all loving it. So, you know, I'm not great at covering cakes, so I would, I, um, I would probably be just my normal self moaning that it doesn't work. But um, I've got to mm. give Karen Griffiths a due. She's the same as me. We both don't like covering cakes at all. But she covered a cake, and she went, "Oh my God, Carol! If I, I can cover this, likes it, do you <laughs> she goes, "Oh my God, Carol! If I can cover a cake with this so easily, anybody can cover a cake." Now me and Karen have just got to perfect the sharp edges. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy peasy. I've still got to get straight sides on my buttercream cake yet. And Margaret yeah. Kirk says, <laughs> I can't Margaret teach you patience. <laughs> <laughs> Margaret Kirk says, just beware, ladies and gents, this sugar paste tastes divine as well as work beautifully. Ooh. But if you taste it, you will eat it all. I have to agree with you, Margaret Kirk. How many pieces have I had today? I thought you'd been quite good today. I have been very good, but I still had some. <laughs> well, you've done that on the side. Three, time, I didn't three see times it. I've been in that sugar paste bag. Tracy McKay, Tracy McKay says she uses it for round cake scoop, it's sculpting. It's fabulous. Now that is a compliment from Tracy. So what I'm doing here is changing. Can you see the difference? Where am I best showing? Here. Is this the best angle? What do you want from the side? Here. Oh, sorry, excuse me. Oh, thanks, Alice. Kersenov. Yeah. Kersenov. 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 That is it. Yeah. Well, Alice has said she's going to give it a, give it a go. Yeah. Not so sure look how lovely this is. There, how sharp we are here. Round. They look sharp. And then sharp. 
So this is a, a six by eight cake. Six by eight, that isn't it? Yes. yes. So six by eight, and we've used 400 grams of sugar paste. Now, without being big headed, we have had quite a few tutors say that it's as good as the very best. I'm not gonna start shouting out what the very best is, but we've had a few tutors come back and said, oh my God, love it. Mm -hmm. So it's also excellent for modeling. Okay, you need to add a bit of Tylo. It's excellent for your patchwork cutters and your FMM cutters, put some Tylo in. Um, and it's also great for your sculpting because it's really very soft. It's very, very nice. And I think that's the problem when some people have used it, they've seen that it's a very soft paste and they've probably put too much uh, corn flour or icing sugar in. You don't need to do that. The idea of it being soft is so that it has a really good stretch. I think I've got something in my eye and it just keeps running. It's <laughs> driving me mad. I don't know what I'm laughing at. It's not great when you've got something in your eye. No, it's it? not really. No, it's cheers for your support, Carol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I was thinking about what I flipped into Simon's eye earlier, but we won't discuss that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Well, keep Just up says you're very quiet tonight, Simon. Most unlike yeah, it. Yeah, well, you don't know what flipped in his eye earlier. Anyhow, we won't, we won't talk about it because that's a secret amongst friends. <laughs> well, apparently not. <laughs> yeah, I haven't told him, have I? I'm not going to tell him. Told him there is a secret. Yeah, but well, that's it. It's a secret that's now. That's it. There's a secret and you'll that's never it. know. <laughs> yeah, you'll never know. No, absolutely. We're not oh, telling you. Crikey. You'll only be jealous anyhow. <laughs> oh, wow. And Ira Shuttleworth said it's lovely for wired flowers as long as you remember to add some time though. Yeah. So the flexi smoothers, what are the flexi smoothers? So Barina brought out a set of flexi smoothers. These are the, we're using one here, which is a blue one. And then she sold the brand to me and I wanted pink and what arrived was red. So there we are. <laughs> we've got his red. <laughs> so we got red. Oh, I don't know where I've misplaced then, my small ones, so I'm using a big blue box one. of them. But um, I'm, not, I'm in the box. Oh, are you? Right. But then when we um, when I went back to the company, they said no, that's the pink colour. I said well, it looked very red to me. So that's then they finally pink. come back to me and said this was after a few months for me to get pink. Basically quadrupled it in price. So I thought no, we'll stick with red. Um, no, we're not all friends, are we? We're not in the group. Yeah. No, we're no. not in the group. So don't be shouting out the code in this group, okay? No, so is. we Karen are. Karen Naylor says no secrets in this group. This is this is we're on the main page. We're not no. in the group. But this is the main business page: sugar and crumbs with nifty nozzles, okay? Um, and what happened was Terry did a typo. <laughs> She does a typo every single week. Me and her are going to be having a chat tomorrow. We've had several chats about hers. So I give, I believe in giving everybody a job and I shouldn't have to check it. Anyhow, it looks like I'm going to have to start checking to check it. it. So she's obviously <laughs> forgotten herself. Short of it. Right, so obviously don't do it like that. Don't flip your cake upside down like that when you <laughs> when it's a real one. Do nice it the proper audience, way. 235. Um, I'm just going to grab my... A flexible blade so I can trim that off without leaving any marks around the bottom of the cake. If anybody could share this live into the Make It Bake It Decorate It hub, I'd be really grateful. For some reason, I might have, actually, I might have to just copy the link. Okay, and that's that. Done. Yes, we sell these blades, don't we? We do, we yeah. We do, but we've sold out. Oh. So, Claire, no, I've got more on the way though, don't worry, I've got more on the way, so they should be here very soon. We do sell the blades, and Claire's been talking about them, so people have been buying them, and then she hasn't used them. So she said, oh, I'll use those blades tonight. I said, well, I hope so, because we've sold out. <laughs> she said, well, I've not even told them. <laughs> not even told you what you can do with them yet, yeah. but I'll be using them tonight. Right, just give that a quick once over again. That's not bad, really. Oh, thanks, Debbie. Thanks, Vicky. 
that's okay. Let's leave that as it is. Ooh, that looks fantastic. So, oh, 400 grams of sugar paste. The S E C velvet sugar paste. Okay, it's in white, ivory, navy, red, black. They've all got fancy names, but I can't remember what they are. But um, ivory pearl. Delicious red. Yeah. Is it sapphire blue? Rich black. Sapphire blue. Yeah, sapphire blue. Blue yeah. sapphire. What's the black? Rich. It's rich black. Rich. Rich. Okay, so I've just got some. I've already used this once today, so I've got a cup full of sugar paste that had a bit of water in the microwave, just so I can stick that on here, and I know it's not going to budge anywhere. So give me two sets, and I'll microwave so, that. Would you be able to turn the cake upside down to make a nice edge? Yes. But we'll show you that in another live, okay? It's called the upside down method. It's actually a great way of doing it and it's the way I do my sharp edges, if I'm really honest. I'm not as clever as Claire. She is the professional. I have to do it with the upside down method. Leah Gillum says, look at the sharp edges on that cake. Yeah, and it's dead easy. How long did that take? Uh, well, Literally we... no farting around to be had. It's just done <laughs> yeah. dead quick. <laughs> Well, if it's that quick, do you want to do the upside down method as well? Oh. <laughs> she hasn't got time for the upside down method tonight. We'll do that another time. <laughs> I might even come and show you how to do the upside down method. Let's see, am I ready? Am I ready? Yeah, I'm ready. That will do. Oh, it's hot. Well, that's lovely, Limbon. So she said, I'm making sugar roses and I always use florist paste. Tonight, I've used yours with some Tylo and they are perfect, 007. Yeah, it's very versatile, isn't it? Yeah. I think when you get compliments from your customers is great, but when you get compliments from your tutors, you know, it's really, really very nice. And I've got to be honest, Karen Davies walked in and the first thing she said to me last week is, your sugar paste is delicious. And it's really nice to use. And I said, Oh, have you had some? She said, Marion gave me some. And uh, she said, it, It's lovely. Okie dokie. Pop this on. I made the middle. Does that look middly? Oh, middly. It's possible to tell from over the head because it's slightly at an angle of the camera. What have you done? Have you just mixed some sugar paste there? Sugar paste and water. Yeah, sugar Microwave paste and water. It. Claire's done the lumpy version. We normally mix it a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, well, because mine's already been used once. <laughs> That's <laughs> just how it is now. Yeah. So, um, if you're using sugar paste and water, you just need a tiny bit of sugar paste. Just a little ball of it. You know, if you only want a tiny, tiny bit, just a tiny, tiny little ball, a little bit of water, and um, just paddle it on your chopping board there. So just paddle it on, and then uh, until it's um, nice, smooth, and gooey. Claire's been using this all day, so she's just thrown in some more water, got some lumpy stuff. But you know what? It's settling down nicely on there. Yeah. Did you see that? You just put a smoother on it and push it down. There yeah. you go. Bam. Don't do that with a real cake. No. Uh, Tylo for adding to it when you're making flowers, 250 grams. Normally we say half a teaspoon for 250 grams um, to a teaspoon, but the, if you put a teaspoon in, it's going to be rock solid, really rock solid. So if you want it a bit flexible, do it two and a half um, and you'll be fine. So 250 grams. Oh, I've just dislocated one of my toes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Right, Leah, the rain pipe said, I can show you the upside down method. It's similar to throw it against the wall and have a tantrum. Well, I will show you that way. <laughs> well, you get, mate. Yeah. Right, so, a few people would like me to show them the upside down method. I'll see if I. Thanks, Donna. Okay. So, oh, no, she said, I can show you, you, especially when I'm stressed. Yeah. So, we've got a few little bits and pieces to make. To decorate the yeah, cake. you'll know this. Pamela Pounsett says Claire has shown the upside down method in one of her classes. It was either the wedding tower or the baby's first. We're back on. Right, okay. We're back on red, so we're okay. Let's see if we go back again. You just need to stop where you oh. are. Okay, I'll just I keep think it's frozen, Claire. Yeah, well, it, actually, we're back, so we haven't lost it. It's just frozen. Yeah. Right, I think we're back because I can see Claire there. Well, I think so. Actually, I don't know. Let's yeah. just hold on a minute. 
Just do, move, do some movements, Claire, so you, we know we're not still frozen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know when we see it in a few seconds. I can see her moving. Uh, I've got, yeah. I've got her on my phone moving. Yeah, there you are, so we are here. Yeah. Don't know what happened then, just had a little blip. Probably because of this lovely warm heat, probably melting our lines somewhere. I am flipping boiling. I've got to it be honest. Boiling, I'm, isn't it? I'm rolling out and covering that. I'm roasting. <laughs> so you're getting redder and redder. <laughs> Woo! I'm always red anyway, but. Do you, you want know. to bring in a fan? Do you know what? Them. Fan, actually. Now the cake's covered, fan could go on. That would be really helpful. Do you want me to go and get it? Yes, yeah. here. Just chuck it on, please, so if you oh. can just. Will she switch it on? I'll move it around the other side. Oh, go on then. Thank right, you. So if you leave it there, do you need the overhead? Fan frozen there. Do you need the overhead oh, yeah. or. I'm sorry, yeah, I'm frozen on the screen. Oh, um, okay. Overhead would be quite nice actually right now, right. please. If you pop us to the overhead. And then I hope I... Yeah. No, so we didn't lose the live, we just froze. We don't know why. I'm just going to get Simon to turn the screen off a minute, turn it back on. Yep, so you've not missed anything because I froze as well and we just stopped what we're doing. So and nobody's sat, missed anything. Sat still. You might have missed two seconds of shoulder dancing. That'd be it. No, no, they saw the shoulder dancing. Oh, I was going to treat them tomorrow late I wish in case I. they'd missed it, but... <laughs> uh, June Barrett says we're back, but we're, the sound is jumpy. Oh. So, is anybody else having any problems? Claire says, take, Debbie Avery said, well, take your cardigan off then. Oh, I can't take my cardigan off. Why? Because if this is another shirt that I've cut myself. Oh, right. <laughs> so it can't come off. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. That's nice, Simon. Oh, that's lovely, that, isn't it? Very nice. Thank you. Very nice. Oh. Get to none of that over here. No. No, what you need to do you is go down there. Earlier. You need to go down there now and get that fudge. <laughs> the whole bowl. Yeah. We've got to save some for Mandy Harvey tomorrow, though. Mandy, you might be out a lot. Oh, no. Well, she's bringing me peanut so, brittle, so I have to save oh, some. Oh, you've got to do some swaps. We can only eat the hard stuff. She wants the soft stuff. Oh, okay. When I say um, the hard stuff, we've got to eat the, uh, what's it called? I'm going to do this again Tablet. because you've probably Tablet. not missed it. I haven't been talking about what I've been doing. Right. So, so just grab a bowl. Make a nice smooth bowl. Free as you can. Nobody else has got problems with sound. And then you're going to just use the small end of your bowl. Oh, Simon, you're so good. He yeah. took out all. The, he's took out all the soft fudge from under. Doesn't seem to be a lot. There doesn't either. seem to be a lot. To be fair, I took <laughs> it to the Wallace. Uh, all right. I took it to the care home for them. Okay. I'm saving Mandy's figure. So all I did, the small bowl tool. And then use the wider end of the FMM Dresden tool just to pop in a little line. And then what we do is just get some florist wire and then I'm going to use this is very thin wire oh, so not. it's fine to cut like that, even though I've just broken the scissors. And you, went off the, you went off the screen. Okay. Sorry. And Paula Riley says, Isaac has started copying your shoulder dance. Has he? I mm -hmm. love it. Mm -hmm. So all you do is get your small piece of wire. You only need, what's that, about an inch and a half? About an inch and a half, no? Well, you, I'm, I'm not allowed to answer things like that. <laughs> and then all you do is just run it between your fingers, thank you. Run it between your fingers and then you can pop that into the top of your cherry. That's what I again. Pop your cherry. <laughs> Steady. Steady. I'm where we are. Yeah. And if I'm on good behaviour, so are you. Okay. If I've got to be mm -hmm. on good behaviour. And then all I do is pop these on a cocktail stick and into a dummy, and then I take them outside, I remove my glasses, and I spray them with glaze. So that gives them a lovely. Why do you remove your glasses, Brian? If you don't remove your glasses, you end up with glazed glasses in a gust of wind and you have yeah. to buy new glasses. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I only got these yesterday. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to ruin them already. And to be fair, I got glazed on a pair of my glasses and I was devastated. It's very, very annoying. Yeah. So I'll pop my cherries to the side. There they go. 
love those cherries. And let's do a little bit of colouring. Some more white here. I'm going to have to get you to take this away, Simon. You keep whatever you want over there, but keep it away from me. <laughs> So today, I coloured some sugar paste with the Colourpop Cocoa colours. So, uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink is what I went for. Did you uh, save well. any of them? Any ball for them? Oh, yeah. Did you use them all? Yeah. Ah, yeah, let's get them out. Yeah, they're here. And so I'm just going to do a little bit more colouring now of the colours that I'm a bit short on. Maybe only a little bit of yellow and orange, I think, actually. So Sugar and Crumbs' new colour range is called Colourpop. And under the Colourpop brand, we have Cocoa Colours, which are perfect for your Swiss meringue buttercream, your chocolate, and as you're going to see for your sugar paste. Um, it's also good for normal buttercream as well. We also have Petal Dust. The Petal Dust are oil-based Petal Dust, so you can dust with them, but you can also add them to your chocolate if you want to, for pastel shades. You can add them to your um, icing sugar, florist paste. And then we also have a range of deep colours. Now they're activated colours. They need to be activated by a liquid, i.e. water, mainly water, but you can activate with egg white or cream. You cannot dust with them, but they are really very, very strong and you only need a tiny bit. You only need a tiny little bit of these as well. Yeah, and I've got more spoons on the way. Oh yes, of course. Before anybody else. Yeah. So that is how gorgeous that yellow is in sugar paste. Beautiful. And I'll do the orange as well. And then I'll just make a few of what I've got here. Because I've got lots of sprinkles already made. It's a good job because they do take a while. Yep, a bit much there. Get some white. And then I need to do a larger amount of pink. Mm, that's interesting. So Sheila Hudson said I used the deep colours in the airbrush at the weekend. Actually, I would never thought about using them in the airbrush because once you've added water to yeah. them, mm. shouldn't did, be a problem, should they? Did you did you did you use water? Water or alcohol? Yeah. Okay, let me just pop these in here for a minute. And I'll colour a larger amount of pink. If you're not sure what does what, Sheila, pop onto the product page and it tells you. So yes, you use water in the yeah. yeah. Well, so give that a try. We'll have to give that a go, won't yeah. we? That's your job, that one, sorry. Okay. on my hands, that's no bother. Pink out, and I want a, a softish pink. So this so this liquid, which is the cocoa cocoa uh, liquid, um, Sheila said, does it liquid, does so does that liquid do fondant and buttercream, yes? And does, chocolate. And chocolate and Swiss meringue buttercream and yeah. normal buttercream. Yeah. You cannot add it to meringues or anything with a meringue base. Claire Haddiman has just joined the group and she said your glasses look lovely, Claire. Thank you, Claire. I can see. It's amazing. <laughs> I think I perhaps should have had new glasses a few years ago. Lovely, that pink. 
That's nice. It's lovely sort of candy-ish pink, isn't it? Yeah. So remember the cocoa colours and all our colours, you only need a bit for a pastel colour and a bit more for a darker colour. Isn't that beautiful, that? Just needing what I've got on my fingers. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lovely baby pink that. It's a lovely audience, just short of 250. Fabulous. So anybody who is looking to buy anything tonight, pop over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. At the top there is a wish list. It's called FB Live Wish List. Drop into July Stroke August and drop into Claire Corbett and everything Claire is using tonight is in the wish list. We are out of blades, but Claire hasn't actually demonstrated blades. She was telling everybody about them. And they've gone off and bought them before them. we've even Here demonstrated them. So, um, but she's going to show you how to use those tonight. Um, and there's more on the way, over here shortly. Yeah, we've then. got more on the way anyhow, yeah. Um, what else was I going to say to you? Mm -hmm. Lots of offers, lots and lots of offers. Go and have a look at them. £3 off sugar paste, £7 off nozzles, £4 off nozzles. Go and have a look. John's put a great deal on and... Um, He's also done a deal on shipping as well. So you can upgrade your free delivery to priority for 99p. That means they're going to be working very hard in the warehouse tomorrow. Um, so Denise Newbury, there's no claret colour in the set. How would you make it? Do you mean in the dust or are you talking about the cocoa colours? Because if you talk about the cocoa colours, to get a claret, you just need to use the red with a bit of black, don't you? Um, yeah, you may possibly need to add a little bit of pink to it. Red, touch of black, a bit of pink might be it. I haven't... Paper, paper blue. Mm, might make it too purpley. A slight bit, a little touch of blue just to make it... Mm -hmm. Hell no. Uh, I've not quite had a chance to play with some colour mixing yet. So Nicola said these. maybe red, purple and a touch of black. A claret. Oh, John's responded. Half price shipping on all orders. Priority shipping from 99p on orders over £40. And DPD, you can upgrade to pre 99 Cocoa colours, that's what she's asking about. No, we haven't got a claret. I've got to be honest, these um, cocoa colours that we're doing... They are the same as other brands. Other brands out there are 20ml bottles. Uh, the bottles look bigger, but there's only 20ml in them. Ours have 20ml in them and the full to the top. Um, we are only doing the nine colours, because what we're suggesting that you do is, instead of buying loads and loads of colours, why don't you just put colours together and make colours? There's claret in the deep colours. What is it called? It's called Claret Rose. Yes. That's in the deep colours, but not in the cocoa colours, Margaret, which is what she was asking. Oh. Right, just going hot. around the cutter in case I've got any frilly bits where I haven't pushed down hard enough. Now, this is a those. drippy cutter. This is made by a lovely lady in Ireland whose name I always forget. Somebody will remember for me. Uh, lovely lady in Ireland. These are her cutters. If you see them, they're called on our website if you see any others it's a copy of hers <clears throat> so these are really beautiful steel cut really very nicely okay let me grab a bag a cake for you large trippy cutter and um, yeah isn't claret a wine colour? Yes. Yes, it is, yeah. So I love that pink that you've made there. That's How lovely is that? that? Yeah. Karen Holt said, I'm still stroking my pack of colour pop petal dust. Are you? Yeah. Have you not got them out of the bag yet, Karen? So if you remember, there's lots of brands out there. So you have Fractal, Colour Splash, Sugar Flare, um, Squire's Kitchen. Um, so they're all that brand and then underneath that brand they have dusts, they have gels, they have tints, 
whatever, whatever they want underneath them, okay? And that's all we've done. We've just brought out Colourpop. I think some of you are too busy focusing on the name Colourpop and not reading what it says. So there's Petal Dust, Cocoa Colours and Deep Activated Colours. It's, yeah. I don't know where I was going with that then. I started saying something and then... I lost where I was going to say. I'm not, I'm not sure if it is Bridget Bernadette. I know Bridget's from um, the Ganashian kits. Yeah, no, it's... It, it's, it's not. It's I feel a, like it starts with an O. Oh. Yeah. It's quite an unusual name, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Somebody will know it. Bridget's from the Ganashian kits. They're hers. She was the first one to bring those out. And this drippy colour, this drippy cutter, it's actually a really good quality cutter. I tend to use it at Christmas, but Claire has got a great idea for it tonight, and I think you're going to love it. In fact, I'm not think I'm sure you're going to love it. I'm just going to make it a little bigger though first. Yeah. So it's great to do this because you can stretch it out then and do whatever Claire's going to do with it. I was just about to say. <laughs> whatever Claire's going to do, you'll love it. Okay. You'll love it. Just, just do what Claire's going to do. And thank yeah. you, Gillian. Okay. It's looking good. There we go. I think I'm about right there. I just want to make sure that it comes over the edge, basically. And I think that will just about do it now. So... Uh, we've got some tracks I have. Yeah, Bridget may, Bridget's cake room may sell them as well because she's very friendly with the lady does, yeah. who makes them. Yeah, they're all mates. Yep, they're great for pepper pig cakes and for puddles. Yes. And Sheila, we are on the sugar and crumbs with Nifty Nozzle page. You're quite right. It's the Behave It page. Yes. <laughs> the No <laughs> Shenanigans page. Put, uh, what page are you on? The Behave It page or the Don't Behave It page. Where uh, what goes on in the group stays in the group and that's for members only. Okay. Um, so if anybody would like to join the Make It Bake It group, um, in the group there, we have loads of tutors in there. We have a, a full list of events. This is our 108th Facebook Live. Um, they're all stored in there, so you've got links to them. They're all stored under each tutor's name. So you go to the calendar. So you go to the calendar of events. Scroll down that. See which one it was you wanted to go back to or have a look at. Then you go and find that tutor in, the, in their own library, and you go and click the link, and the link is there, so you can watch it. Very easy to use. Definitely use the tour around the hub. Have a look at that. It's so easy to get round and see everything. Um, also, uh, you get discounts off classes, you get to know about offers first. So the offer that's on today was put into the group. They were the first to get access to that offer before everybody else. Lorraine Pike says she hates this behaving thing. Yes, we know Lorraine. That's why we put Claire on Wednesdays. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to be nice to me. Ah, there you are, Grania McClancy. There you go, well done. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the O, but that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was a G, but I couldn't remember. So I was going to call her Grace, and I knew it wasn't that. Well done, Donna Jaffrey. Yeah, Grania McClancy. That's who it belongs to. And the girls at Bridges Cake Room, if you are in Ireland, they stock it and sell it as well, because they're all good mates. We know Sheila. So she's not used to behaving. She's trying once, isn't she? Yeah. She's really trying. If you can hear that humming sound in the background, as you all know, wherever we are in the UK today, it's absolutely boiling hot. And Claire's just covered a cake, but well, you know how hot that makes you as well, don't you? So uh, we've got the fan on full blast. I'm um, roasting. Yeah. Okay. That'll do nicely for that section. Okay, that can go back over there. Now we put that up. So, let's do a 
couple of our sprinkles and then we'll cartoonify our cherries mm -hmm. and then we'll carry on on the cake again. So and did I'll Wallace buy. sorry That's all right. Did okay. Wallace have a nice birthday? He did, he had a lovely birthday. So he was very, very pleased. I don't think he thought anybody would remember eighty nine years of age. So told him he's got to live to ninety to get his special present. It's not a big birthday to know, is it? No, it's not. No. He gets very no. down and very fed up. Yeah. And why is he here? And I said he's got to live to 90, then he gets a really big present. Are you going to keep moving that goalpost then? Yeah, of course <laughs> I am. <laughs> he did say to me the other day that he might have two years in him. I said, great. Think positive, Thomas. Might have two years. He's <laughs> <laughs> funny, isn't well, he? is funny. And then you go and see him the next day, and that's it. Why am I here? <laughs> Ooh, got a sneaky one there on there that I haven't done yet. Okay, so basically, to do our sprinkles, we're just going to grab your colour, a little bit of it, roll it in your hand, make it into a tic-tac, put it on the mat. Roll the ball, make it a tic tac, all different sizes. Pamela Pound says, Lorraine, Kathy, Sheila, we need to come up with some secret code so no one else knows you're misbehaving. Cough, cough. <laughs> you're and and that's baby. good. Mandy Harvey said, oh, I thought they were wee fairy lights. Oh, yeah, they no, do look yeah, like it, they don't do, they? Yeah, yeah. Oh, have I missed the colour? No. Purple. Red. Oh, have got purple. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. Yeah, I'm done. Do one of each of those because I think Simon was like <laughs> earlier on when I was doing these. I was like, oh, Claire. Huh? Too bad for that. Yeah, that's because I had a spare from before. Oh, thank you, Bernadette. Yep, Bernadette there. And lots of ladies here are just saying if you're not a member of the Make It Bake It group, come and join. Come and join the group. It's a great group. It's fun in there, lots of lives, and you know the fact that you get a fiver off your classes is really very helpful. Our classes are very cheap as well, really very, very cheap. We even allow them off demo days and social days, and even when we have a sale on, we allow you to use the discount then. So lots of people have already made their membership money back over and over. So it's definitely well worth it. You also get the heads up on offers first, you also get to learn about all the new products first before we bring them to the new page, to the business page. Like Claire is using the Colourpop Cocoa colours tonight, but we've been using them in the group so that everybody gets to learn about things there. Just one or two members on here have got themselves a little bit confused. Are you they're getting confused thinking about the brand and not what the product is? Well, you don't go, I'm going to have sugar flare, sugar flare. I've got myself confused with sugar flare. Or it's like splash it, or it's basically, think about it this way, rainbow dust yeah. make rainbow dust pro gels, but they also make rainbow dust, dust. airbrush, and, it, and yeah. rainbow dust dust, yeah. and rainbow dust, it's like rainbow dust, yeah. but colour pop. So this is colour pop, that make dust, that make cocoa colours, and that make uh, deep, uh, deep colours that need to be activated. And we are going to be adding a metallic range, that's our next thing that's coming in. And we are going to then possibly add gels or airbrush, I'm not sure. Haven't decided yet. Okay, so I've rolled my sugar paste there, black sugar paste, quite thin. Maybe like a millimetre, a little bit over. You can't see it, can you? Can you see it like that? No, of course you can't. Really? Well, can you take my word for it then? <laughs> How about that? We'll do that. <laughs> okay. And straighten up that edge. And I'm just going to use my flexible blade. Alright then. Just 
kind of a pussy strip that's about maybe three to four millimeters wide. You cut a few of those. They don't have to be all identical. It's not science. So these super, super sharp blades, and they are super sharp, yeah. they do come in a lovely plastic container. So make sure you store them in that container and keep them out of the way of the children because they are super sharp. Really, really We get sharp. two blades in a packet. We have sold out. Claire was telling everybody about them and they've gone off and bought them before we've actually had a chance to dem them. I don't think but they I do have... what they were for. No, you didn't. <laughs> That's a funny thing. Claire said, oh, we need these. So everybody went off and bought them. And I've seen you in the group asking, what do we need what, them for? <laughs> I've got this. So what's it for? So... <laughs> Your trust in me is really quite touching. So she's going to use them for quite a few things over over time, anyhow. Yeah. But uh, we're using them for this at the moment. But they're super, super sharp, so do be careful with them. Please, Nikki King says I bought them. Was you one of them? Nikki Jeffrey said they're brilliant blades. Are you another Nikki? <laughs> oh dear. Funny. Okay, so well, I have got a lot more on the way now. So I've got my spare back in the bag. Sheila obviously says, oh, I want them. Can't have them yet, Sheila. We're out of stock. They are really good, though. From the back, we do need them. Ricky said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they come in these lovely little plastic containers. They slide apart. You get a large and a small. And they're very reasonable in price. They're not very expensive at all. No, they're not. Especially with you getting the large and small together. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so... Let me just shift those out of my way. Bring that one up. Touch your play. Nicola Walkie says, I'm glad you got more coming because I need them. You didn't get them the first time round, Nicola. That's that's unlike you. She's not just blindly <laughs> by whatever. Nikki King said, Claire said we needed them and I, I and I wouldn't doubt anything Claire said. Oh, Nikki. We're yeah. waiting for the round ganache plates to come back in uh, dye. Let me just check with John if he knows when. Okay, so that's it. Wrap it round. Now you've got a cartoon sprinkle. Which you can't see when it's in my hand because my gloves are black. <laughs> but let me put that there for you. <laughs> what a lovely. Again, it's that easy, a little bit of glue on. Claire Hardman says, absolutely, what Claire says goes. <laughs> What's she after? And Kathy Eaton, oh, here's a kick. Kathy Eaton says, too trusting Nikki. Not sure I trust her that much. Just a bit, Claire. Sorry. <laughs> That's what she says now in front of her friends. Yes, so I know. Behind closed doors. Yeah, behind Kathy closed Eaton. doors. Hi, Claire, you all right? What do I need? Yeah. <laughs> Sheila obviously said I didn't know you had them, because you wasn't paying attention, Sheila. And I wonder why. Too much chatting. Too busy with the uh, having fun, huh? Yeah. Properly reprimanded again, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. Claire the influencer, says Nicola Walking. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Donna Jaffray said, there's me saving up everything in my basket and along comes Glossy and that's it all. <laughs> I don't think you really need to see me make this many, do you? Well, you may as well, just so that they definitely still Just needs to be a bit more central on the camera when you're cutting. You start off there, and then you slide and then nearer to you. We all do that. Yeah. And the world's worst, I pull it nearer and nearer. There you go, just like that. Did I do it again? Yeah. Joking! <laughs> oh, that was all right. <laughs> no, it was. She did pull it nearer. You weren't watching. Are you watching the, the live? Or that no, we're watching this. Oh. Too 
small and then we'll do our cherries. For a non-cartoon cake, the great as they are, don't don't do this. Just because it's cartoon, we need to have everything black outlined. Let's make sure that comes in the way. And there we go. Cute little move my hand. Easy to see. Cute cherry. So I'm just going to do a test to see if I can hear you. If someone said it's in the house, is sound gone? So you want me to start talking? Eh? Yeah, I was going to say, it could have been at that time that Claire wasn't talking. Just to might have been still up, in, um, up the noise, but um, Oops. all okay here. No, definitely fine here. So I'm okay. I'm oh, spinning around on my stick. I like the way you do these. They're super cute as well, aren't they? They are really adorable. I actually really like these. Are you showing me how to make a cupcake tonight or just a cake? If I've got time to do a cupcake, I'll also do a cupcake. Because all the bits are made, it's just putting it together really, isn't it? Francis, you might have caught Claire having a quiet moment. She might not have said something for, for a minute. When you don't say nothing for 30 seconds, it's a long time. Yeah, sorry. Especially me and Simon are not joining in either. <laughs> yeah, you two are quiet tonight as well. Yes, the, uh, the cherry is sugar paste. Yeah, just sugar paste, nothing in it. And we did glaze them. So our thing with glazing is is make sure you cover all your work tops, preferably go and glaze just outside. Go outside, yeah. yeah. Go outside is best. Outside. Make sure you take your glasses off and you're not facing any wind because otherwise you can yeah. get a spray back on your glasses. Mm -hmm. And Claire has done that mistake and so have I. Not great. Yeah. I was not happy. I tried to be aware of some old clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but of course you could um, use regular glaze, couldn't you? Confectionary yeah. glaze and paint it on, yeah. yeah. I think from now on I'll prefer to paint them. Yeah. The problem is you knock your all your brushes in, don't you? Yeah. So you can't win either way. So I'm going to put a border at the bottom of the cake. I think. So the Make It Bake It Learning Hub is $24.99. Uh, that will be your membership right the way through to the 31st of December. So what we're doing is we're just coming on the business page to just show you some of the things that we learn in the Make It, Bake It, Learning Hub. So we've done 108 lives, you'll have access to all those lives, and that's only up till today's date. So just think what's coming next. 
We've got a full range of tutors in the kitchen. Okay, we have lots of fun in the in the in the kitchen in the learning hub. It's a really family place, and the community group is excellent. Really, very very nice. Yeah, the community is amazing. I've got loads of new friends. With me, I like. I don't think I've ever been this popular in my life. <laughs> the community group. Everybody's just really nice. You yeah. feel like real friends as well. Yeah, where they are though, aren't they? Mm. You feel like you know people there, and then that's the nicest you get thing to about it. Yeah. And it's just, it just blows your mind, doesn't yeah. it? Elaine Lawton said, I love the cherries, Claire. I have Simon's birthday cake to make tomorrow for Saturday. I'm not sure which to do now between the last one made a couple of weeks ago or this one tonight for quickness. Mm. Do you mean the last one that's at the back there, Elaine, with the candles on? And have you seen the wavy cake in the background there that Claire's done? She's done a little video on that today. And that was using the cocoa colours, wasn't it? Yeah. I love them. Yeah. So we're only doing the nine colours, simply because we've got deep colours in there, purple. So you just add a bit of white if you want lilac. She's got red, add a little bit. Well, it's got pink anyhow, but just tone it down with a bit of white. We are going to be ordering large bottles of white for people who want to turn, tone things down. And Kit Curran says, I feel you're all my friends. I've met, I've made so many good friends here. Kit's lovely. Karen Naylor said to Elaine Law and do both. <laughs> yeah, the one at the back. That one at the back is fabulous, isn't it? We love that. Now they're made with our uh, set of six nifty nozzles. We do a set of six of rose gold and a set of six of hologram. And if people can't decide and they want a set of 12, they get both sets in there. John's done a fantastic offer on them, seven pound off in the wish list. So you can never have too many nozzles, ladies. Grab them while you can. a bargain for nozzles that because they're not you know they're a few quid each aren't they so get yeah. set for that price yeah yeah so the set is actually 19.99 for nine colors now other brands are generally uh, five pound plus i think we've got one brand currently that's 5.95 and i think we've got one brand at 4.95 um so if you bought nine of those 45 quid 44.95 well 44.95 91 you'd be paying, wouldn't you? Ours are nine colours for 19.99. They're on offer at the moment, but even when they're not on offer, they're only 20 odd pounds, so you're still saving money. I'm just rolling some teardrop shapes here. We're going to use these as like a pretend shell border. Uh, the deep colours, the water activated colours, can you use them with chocolate? You need to colour your cream first. So if you're going to make ganache, you can colour your cream and make coloured ganache, but you can't um, colour the chocolate itself with it. If you want to colour chocolate, you need to use what Claire's using here, which are the cocoa colours. Kathy Eaton says, I'm still amazed at how many friends I have made, but have never met. I look forward, to the day when I, look forward to the day when I get to meet them. I'm looking forward to meeting Kathy. Yeah, I'm looking forward to meeting Kathy too. I'm expecting her to roll up as Minnie Mouse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kathy is a massive Disney fan, as you'll see by her little profile picture there. So Frances McCarthy says, I'm from Ireland and I haven't met any of you yet. Go through the MIBIDI hub. I feel as though I have a whole new group of friends. It's a fantastic group to be part of. I have to say, the Sugar and Crumbs community group is great, but not everybody knows Sugar and Crumbs there. Even though it's our group, and even though we ask questions, do you know us? They go, yeah, but they don't. I'm always amazed at how many people ask me, where do you buy this? Well, maybe Sugar and Crumbs might be a clue. But anyhow, the Make It Bake It group is a bit different because, because it's a smaller group. It's, uh, I think it's 800 and, I think about 811 members in there, but it's just so lovely. It's so lovely. It's nice and peaceful and fun, and then you just feel as though you know everybody, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So, I, yes, same, waiting for a down south. Well, 
we went down south, we went to a place called Ardingley near Brighton. We was down there in um, May. And then we went to um, Herefordshire, not Herefordshire, Hertfordshire um, in June. And next June we're going to Scotland. We're going to the British Sugarcraft Guild exhibition in Scotland. Got a bit of colour in my brush, but ignore that because there's something. These are going on top of that, so it does not matter. Yep. And Karen Naylor and Karen Griffiths will be at the Cake and Bake Show at XL in London. Doing a little pretend shell border there. <coughs> I'm hoping we've got enough to go all the way, yeah. I'm sort of speeding up a bit now because I know I've still got tons to do. I've just spotted the time. I don't want to keep everyone too late tonight, but I hope you won't mind if we run over a little bit. It's cute, isn't it? I like it done like that. Now I've got the fan on, it's just that everything's drying out a little bit quicker oh, as well. Oh, should we turn it off? No, because I'm still roasted. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I'd rather just work a little bit faster. Yeah, that's another hint as well. You can't win in the warm weather, can you? No. Because if you do sugar paste in an air-conditioned room or a room with um, a fan on, the sugar paste dries out even quicker, doesn't it? Yeah. And your buttercream firms up quicker. You just have to choose between, like, you can work a little bit slower without the fan or super, super quick <laughs> yeah. with it on. Okay, that looks really cute anyway. I yeah, like that. It does like that. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put my pink away again. And I'm going to grab some more white. Put that to the side for a sec. Simon, you're very quiet tonight. Are you concentrating on? Yes, I am concentrating. I think we're all quite quiet. I think we're all just so warm. I know. Long. After a long hot day, day, it's quite. Yeah. It takes a lot out of you to do that. I also think it's a subdued day today. I feel a bit, I feel a bit weird because with what has happened to Nicholas, and then I'm celebrating yeah. Melissa's birthday, then I'm celebrating my daughter-in-law's birthday, and then you. You've got other things going on, life goes on, doesn't it? And yet you yeah. still feel really sad about everything, don't you? And the fact that we're all boiling. Yeah. Not I've managed to run round, do all my jobs, go to the doctors, go shopping, do my jobs here and shampoo my carpets today. Nice. Very good. I can't be exhausted. <laughs> oh, and tomorrow, who is in the cry cut class tomorrow? So we did the cry cut where we set it all up, oh, from opening the book, showed you how to set it up. Um, now that demo there is £10. If you are looking for a cry cut or a cricket, whichever way you call it, 
Um, that demo is £10 on the website. And Jess has had rave reviews on what a great instructor she was. Very, very calm, took her time about it. And um, I, I've got to say, I thoroughly enjoyed the day. And I do know Simon and Karen were really engrossed in it. So then yeah, tomorrow, it was there. great, yeah, they loved it. We were buzzing. So tomorrow we are back with part two which is all about vinyl. So this is where you can use vinyl to stick onto your containers, your uh, cups, um, cupboards, and um, also t-shirts, bags, pencil cases, whatever you want to stick it on. She's going to show you about two types of vinyl. So I've been shopping yesterday and bought all that. Eyes were nearly watering. Yeah. So I was looking at the heat press. I bought one heat press, which my eyes were watering at, and I went, oh, how much is that other one? 900 pound, I went, no. I don't think so. <laughs> That's a no from Carl. Definitely a no. <laughs> so I bought the 200 pound one, but it, even then the eyes were watering at that. But anyhow, so that demo day is on tomorrow. It starts at 10 o'clock with Jess in the kitchen. Karen Griffiths is on comments. It's £10 for those of you who are not in the Make It Bake It group. Those who are in the Make It Bake It group, and we can't shout the code out here because we're on the main business page, it's £5 if you want to sign up. Remember that class is yours forever, so sit and watch it and enjoy it for the day and then use it for your reference. And then she's coming back in September to do the advance. Well, now, Simon and I were sort of chatting about that, whether we should call it advance, but we didn't know what to call it really. And John said the same, because we don't want to put people off that it's in advance. What it means is she's doing more embellishment. So where she showed you how to do cake toppers and what she's going to do tomorrow, she's going to show you to make them even more fancy and she's going to include some packaging in there. So I'm just doing some little twisties. I've got six to do so don't panic if you miss that one. And I can just put a little cherry inside that twisty that off around it. There we go. You're going to stay there, Claire? Yeah, I think so. How's that? Great. Happy? Super duper. Like that. Like Fun. that. Have you decided on the front? Oh, not yet, no. So you're going to have all your cherries like, like, like from the front? Or? Right, that's my front then. This is my front. What with the <laughs> Here cherries? I am. Yeah. Right. Let me just turn that cherry. You're right, Simon. Well pointed out. I wasn't saying that's not what you were going to do. Well, I thought I needed to, to you know, speak more, so I was just asking. I actually do appreciate that, but you're just digging a really massive hole now. So yeah, I'll, I'll stop talking. Stop. Shall I go back to being quiet now. Yeah. Nobody noticed. And then with round to directly opposite. Pop another one on. So all I do is twist around the leg Sugar, sorry. You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. Oh, it's my coffee. Oh dear. Oh, there's a lack of action. No, it's not a lack of How much pressure do you need? So obviously my cherry needs to face in the same direction for it to show fully cartoon Lorraine, style. Lorraine Pike said, do you want a spade, Simon, or are you okay with that one? He's okay, okay with that one. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm not his friend to anymore, quite nicely right? with that one. <laughs> yeah, quick while you're ahead, Simon. I can shut you off. Did you hear me come in before and tell him to shut up? Well, I just <laughs> stood like a game in headlines, not <laughs> knowing what to do, yeah. So, Karen, I enjoyed that. so Claire knew she was on the page today because it, when I put the calendar up, I said that she was on the page. I hadn't read the calendar properly and uh, Terry had put her in the Make It Baker group and I hadn't noticed. But Simon had seen it in the Make It Baker group and he was correcting Claire. And I'm like, shut up. And Claire was right in the first place. <laughs> oh. As I always. didn't need correcting. <laughs> yes, thank you. I'm glad you've noticed. <gasps> I can't give you one there. That's the one after. for us, this. There yeah. is. You can have one after. <laughs> Thank you. One, yeah. Yeah, Kathy says he thinks he's, 
think he's doing fine without one. Twisty, twisty. So anybody who's watching us, Claire is making a cartoon style cake. And if you've seen her cupcakes, they are fabulous. Do you bring them in too? Yeah, just bear with me a sec and then I'll pull them in. Sorry, but I'm turning that around so you can see. Oh, that looks good. And then I'll go uh, directly opposite again. I don't know where I just was that one. So I'm going to go here. We twisty. Grab a cherry, flip it on the top. Now we've got in the right direction, almost, Just give it a little twist. So they're all looking the same way so that you can see the cartoon effect looking at it from the front. <coughs> and then in between, in between. Francis McCarthy said, Carol, cheers, I'm joining you in a magnum. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> so you not got one. I know. <laughs> we had the magnums last week, but we are on round trees, pastel fruit. My fruit pastel lollies. Love around trees for today. Yeah. And the rain pack says, Oh, I have SC ice cream in the freezer. Isn't this cute, this? What do you all think? It will be really, really Wait cute. Wait till it's finished, but it's looking super cute now, isn't it? Make this with one layer and another layer. Look. Yeah. Never had one of these before. You have. Nice. You've never had one of those before. No. What have you been doing all your life? Well, I'm not eating my hands. Why have you still decided to change? Because the the there's no magnums in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> A classy says kids love this. Yeah, they are kid lollies, but they're really nice kid lollies. Claire, call the office tomorrow. Go to our website. At the bottom of the footer, there's a contact page there. Pop an email in, send an email, and they'll sort it out for you tomorrow. We can't deal with it here. We can't deal with any customer services here, but the customer service team, um, our lady who runs that is Karen Naylor. She's watching, so she'll be waiting for your email. Give her as much details as you can, and she will help you. Right, time to add details. Hello? It's time to add all the details. Mm. Oh, thank you. So, back to black. Claire Hadiman says, I can't picture it finished, but I love the cherries. Mm. Can you not picture it finished? Now we're going to add the black. It makes a massive difference. It really does. <laughs> I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. Sheila, you're so funny. What's she giving now, Sheila? It looks fab, but I've no idea what it is. It's a cake! <laughs> Sheila! It's a cartoon style! Look! Come on! Get away, get cartoon. Up. cartoon style! Cartoon! It's a real cake! Well, this one, the big one is, it's a dummy. These here are real, the cupcakes. Elaine also says she's loving this so far. You could do this, Elaine, no problems. What do you think Simon would think having a cartoon cake? <laughs> a pink one. <laughs> you could do really nice blue, couldn't you? Yeah. 
look What's really in nice the middle of the cherries? The cherries are made of sugar paste made. This is all just sugar paste work today. Angela Black says, I love the way Claire thinks her cake's out. This is fabulous. Wing it. Just wing it, man. Wing it. <laughs> to be fair, she is winging it. She sent me a picture this week and said, I'm going to make one of these. I said, I've made one before. She said, no. <laughs> I'm going to yeah, make one. <laughs> let's make one. Sheila, still no idea. Goodness me. Linda Williams says, the cake reminds me of a cartoon film, Wreck Ralph with the cherries if anyone sees it. Lorraine says, Simon would love it and he loves cherries. Me too. Was it Wreck It Ralph? Yeah. I haven't seen it but I've heard of it. I've never heard of it. Deb Spelldish says, it's a brilliant cake. Helen Miles says, I'm enjoying tonight but I have missed bits as puppy not coping with the heat. No. Oh. Oh, our daisy nice erect, him, our daisy erect are panting their heads off. Right, cartoon style. Some glue on, I'll do a few at a time so that I'm sped up. Sheila, I don't watch cartoons either, but I even know what a cartoon cake is. Wait till it's finished then. Just have that ice on it and then a drink of my diet Coca Cola, it's burnt my mouth. Burnt it with fizz, not burn, burn. Yeah. Burnt it with the fizz. Isn't that weird, that? Like a cold burn. Yeah, that is this weird burn. I'm just looking at what I'm doing on the screen, by the way, Simon. Okay. So that you've got a better view. Is that all right? That's how you're looking at it? It looks, looks great. great. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Someone's going to have to talk in a second. Right. <laughs> it's <laughs> silent and it's not like... Oh, sorry, I'm I'm con sorry, I've got people text messaging me and I'm trying to read comments and text messaging. But at the moment they're talking about a cool coat for the dog, so uh, there's right, not, yeah. no point me saying anything. No. What I'm going to do is, if people talk about other things, I'm just not going to... Love spot, not shooting up it. the page. Just love yeah. are shooting up the page, yes. <laughs> But if they're talking about anything else, I'm just not going to comment on it because yeah, yeah. it's now to do with us. <clears throat> I 
I'm just concentrating and I can't. Yeah, no, it looks great. Manage sentences at the no, same time. Right. Take your time. The thing is, I think we do very well in in on Facebook lives to be able to cover and decorate cakes and talk and sell and tell people about offers in such a short time. Yeah. Whereas if you were at home doing it in your own time, you could take an hour to do it. Yeah, that's true. So Maeve Jane says, it's looking good, Claire Bear. By nice. the way, finish your chocolate today was in the fridge. Did uh. everybody... Did everybody get their chocolate and did you enjoy it? Yeah, I think I've seen most. I've not seen. I think I've seen one or two say that they got theirs. So, uh, so Sheila Harvey says they're shells, Sheila. I love how you turn the little pink blobs into into the lovely border. They're shells, Sheila. <laughs> Well, they Helen Brown blocks, says this looks they? ace. Cheers, Helen. Claire Hardyman's laughing her head off at blobs. What are they like? Leslie Green said I love the black rope idea. Wait till this cake comes together. Honestly, you're going to love it. Jean Thomas got hers, still have some left. Did you enjoy your 70th birthday, Jean? So Maeve James says, yes, it was blooming gorgeous, even though it was broken, it tasted great. Yeah. Oh, did it arrive? Did, was those broken? Did we break it? I don't know if Maeve's was the one did that originally made, broke. We made the, made the first one, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. But I didn't know what what had gone out because I don't but well, the thing is I've got to be honest who got what they should have got and who got that nobody <laughs> I couldn't remember who's what was so I just sent them out as as you think <laughs> it's funny on the night because you go yeah because I, I remember what order Claire made of it and Not the next day you were like don't know what it was you've got what you <laughs> it wasn't I had John Mither <laughs> so I funny. had John Mither with me to death I had somebody on the phone I had something to do with Wallace by the time I finished, I thought, I can't even, I said to you, Si, didn't I? I cannot be bothered to watch a live. Sarah Saunders says, it's looking fab, Claire. You've got so much patience and do so much in a small Oops. amount of time. Wait till you see it. And Jean had a lovely 70th birthday. Oh, good, Jean. I'm glad and you Julie did. Hay said, I took a photo of my 103-year-old neighbour receiving hers. She thought it was oh, beautiful. Lovely. This is a six by eight dummy because Elaine Wilson loves the height. So it's six by eight, Elaine. Yes. The height makes it really. You couldn't do this on a little. <laughs> so Maeve anything. didn't get her. She got a white one. <laughs> oh, Claire Bear made me a new one. Love her. Oh, did you yeah, make her a new one? Yeah, did make her a new one. Yeah. Did you make her a white one? Yeah. But I didn't know. I, re I made her. I remade some more milk. Orange I know we milk needed chocolate. Yeah, because I thought it was and then she still didn't get it. She no. still didn't quickly get it. I know, because I, I put a note on it to say that the milk chocolate one was for Maeve, so I don't know what happened. Karen Naylor's watching, maybe she'll tell us. And Gillian Smith Agrici, and I saw them, Gillian, and she said, I made some of the chocolate slabs. Yeah. What a fantastic idea, I'd love them. Saw them, they were lovely. Yeah. Every two minutes I'm saying, oh, lovely Gillian. Oh, they're fantastic, aren't they, Gillian? Gillian, you're so good and you live so far away and it's not on. If you're going to make delicious things, live closer to us. Right. Gillian's very fair. good. When she she's sees, very good. Gillian's very good, though. When she sees things on the live, she has a crack at it. Yeah, she always does. And she Leslie Green does very well. Car Leslie Green says, Karen McFarlane, my mum loved her bar of chocolate and was glad she received the milk chocolate one, which was hey, the correct for me. one. Thank you. <laughs> I hadn't forgotten she didn't I, I had forgotten she didn't like white chocolate so that was lovely yeah especially with all the mix-up big thanks she loved the beautiful decorations oh thanks that's Aww. nice but we did have two milk chocolate ones so anyhow and May James said no I bloom I bloom and didn't haha <laughs> never mind so great for you to give them out oh sorry about that May but I'm glad you enjoyed it anyway yeah. <laughs> Right, the cake's not finished. 
don't go yet, everybody. Don't go anywhere. No, wait till, wait till you see it finished. It's going to look bad. And Jill Cook said I did, she did get hers and she said thank you. Yeah. But yeah. she was bad and ate it herself. I don't yeah. blame you. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'd have done the same. <laughs> All that talk of seeing you giving it, oh, she'll love it. My yeah. friend will love this, and so you have it yourself. Is that what she said? Yeah. Yeah. What did she say? Oh, my friend will love this. Or oh, was it for a friend? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jill, I'm with you. Shut your gob and say now. <laughs> Don't tell your friend nothing. She doesn't need to know. And Karen Naylor said, it's sorry, mate. She's not watching. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Karen Naylor said, sorry, mate, my mistake. Oh. I'm sure Maeve was happy anyway. And Nicola Walkie says, just Googled cartoon cakes. I love the style. Just need to find the time to practice. You'll love doing this with your little one, Nicola. Oh, yeah. Freya will love yeah. it. Just tidying up a little bit here where I've made a little bit of mess. So anybody who wants to learn... So the reason we come live tonight is... Uh, if anybody wants to join the Make It, Bake It, Decorate It Learning Hub, uh, Debbie Hargreaves has just put the link up and I have pinned it to the bottom of the page. Thank you very much. It's on offer for $24.99 and that gives you membership until the end of December. It also means you get to see all the last seven months Facebook Lives. You also get access to offers and discount codes as well. Well... Okay, right. So the dummy cake is eight inches tall. Yep, it um, is. Do we have them in stock? Six wise, there we in stock, yeah. This is my preferred size of dummy to work on. Yeah, I've got to be honest, I did put them in the wish list. I didn't think about the dummy cake. I didn't think anybody would want to buy at all dummy cake, but it's great. We're making cakes on dummy cakes at the moment because we're going to do some of the cake shows and we want to be able to take the cakes with us so we can show what people make. So we're stockpiling. <laughs> I'm not usually allowed to leave cake around, am I? Yeah, so, Maeve James says, you're forgiven, Karen. I loved it, but my scales didn't. Oh dear. Nickel Walking says, I see why I need a flexible blade now. Yeah, just makes yeah. things a bit easier. Got more on the way. So can you see how effective it is once you add that bit of black to it? That's how the cartoon effect comes. Isn't it fabulous? You put them around the twirls. It's just, yeah. yeah. It's going around everything. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we are sorry, going, we're probably going to run about 15 minutes late, but they've all been saying they're staying with you to the bitter end anyway. Yay. They've been actually preempted. So yeah. June Barrett said this is looking <laughs> amazing. <laughs> that I'd run over. <laughs> <laughs> June Barrett said, this is looking amazing, Claire, but didn't expect anything else. All your cakes are great. Ah, Sylvia who is that, June? June Barrett, yeah. June, so sweet, Sylvia eh? Anderson says, wow, I love how this cake is coming together. A fabulous style. So are you getting it now? Cartoon cakes. Come on, Sheila, are you getting it? <laughs> I just think, leave Sheila alone until later. And May James says, oh, well, doesn't that make it pop out? Oh, yeah. Nikki King says, I've never seen this, but I like it. I agree. Helen Miles says, my next order list is growing. <sighs> Carol Gastonby says, brilliant. I'm doing my best to give you and a And Sheila view. Harvey's still not with it. Go and have another glass of wine, Sheila. It'll all come to you. I think you'll have to tell me what it is at the end, as I'm clueless here. I'll ask a couple. I think you're overthinking it, Sheila. I, I really so. do. Yeah. I, th I think you're thinking of a, like something specific. I think you're thinking just, it's going to jump up and start singing and dancing, but it won't. Just imagine that this was drawn in a comic book. Yeah, that's exactly. the idea. Yeah. Uh, Linda Williams says, "I've not tried. I, I've, I'm not tired, and I love the cake." 
Oh. I mean, she's staying with you. Staying off. Claire her. Hardiman says, I can see the cartoon effect now. I've never seen one before. It's fab. It will be. Helen Williams, do not be joining, Sheila. Going off to the naughty corner. I'm going to put a naughty corner in that group. Yeah, the need one. <laughs> definitely overthinking it though isn't it? <laughs> Can you not see it coming together, the effect now? Wait till it's finished. Well if you can't see it once it's finished I'm just going to give up on you Sheila. I really Maeve, Maeve James says, Sheila are you thinking Tom and Jerry? <laughs> Yes, in fact, picture the kitchen table in Tom and Jerry <laughs> and imagine this sitting on it. Or well, like when you buy kids toy cakes for them, it's usually like this, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You know, buy those, um, like for the little, I know Jasmine and Ruby have got us very similar things in it. Yeah. Like when you buy wooden or plastic play for Yeah, that's it. Nicola Walkie said, so clever, I think this is my favourite style now. Yeah, exactly. Audrey Smith said, just googled cartoons, cakes, Claire, it's fab. Tracer Power said, love it, the pink and black looks brilliant together. Helen Mao says, I'm loving this effect. Oh, I think it's fabulous. I've got to be honest, when she sent me a picture, she I think I should do this? Went, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like surprised because yeah. I thought it'd go either way with you. No, you didn't go either way. Or not. I wasn't sure if you'd be keen on this yeah, style. Yeah. yeah. But straight away you're like, yeah, yeah, get on that. Yeah. I was like, yes. Yeah, that's that's how we talked to each other, Claire and I. And then I said, Oh yeah, I love that, do that. And then she then I said she said I said, Have you done one before? She went, No. Right. <laughs> okay then, love the style. It's what we like about it in the Make It Bacon Hub. What we do like is even though we have professionals in there, at the end of the day we like to give things a try, first time go, let's have a play. And then you get Karen and myself in um, in there who just like you at home, you've got your new toys, let's just play. May James says, got to take this to the shows, Carol. Yes, we are planning on doing that. Anything that's made on dummies now, we're asking all the tutors to make everything on dummies so we can take them to the shows. And Karen Naylor and Karen Griffiths are going to the very first show because I'm on holiday. They're going to have to protect them. I really wish I could go. I'm yeah. devastated. They're going to Cake and Bake at XL and they're going to have to bring them all back intact. They'll be scared to death. Little Walkie said it's pop art. Oh uh, yeah, it has got a bit of that sort of feel to it. And Louise Lyon said, I love those little coloured things. They would make great Christmas lights. Yeah, they totally <laughs> they would. They do, actually. <laughs> we'll have to do that again for something, won't we? I oh, know, I'm never making them again. They took forever. <laughs> That's it now. I'm not making them ever again. Scripts on the floor. You can live there for five minutes while I'm sat down. You could have a 30 minute video of you making every one of those sprinkles. That'd be kind of therapeutic. Why don't you? Know. Sure. <laughs> I'm a digging again. This is the good behaviour group, remember, the good behaviour page. This is not where you and I squabble. <laughs> So Karen Naylor says, I'm giggling to myself here. That Halloween cake box behind Claire, when she's sitting down, looks like a hat. That's <laughs> it, uh, from behind, yeah. What's they say? What, the Halloween cake box? Yeah, what's they say? Like a hat. That. Let's get up again, yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, I kind of like that. I've got to say, I went, um, I went shopping yesterday. <laughs> went to pick up my new specs. I had the little one with me, and I uh, thought, well, just stop into TK Maxx, see if we've got anything cool in there, homewares department. And we've got all the Halloween stuff out already. The homewares is right next to the kids' bit, you know, is. So I'm thinking, she'll go off to have a look at the toys, and there'll be all, there was all sorts of, like, unicorns and mermaids all covered in sea creams and stuff. Anyway, she just wandered straight to the Halloween homewares, picked up a cushion in the shape of a bat with fangs and everything. <laughs> Mummy, it looks like a vampire bat, and then just carried it around. I was like, we're going to have to take this home, aren't we? So that was what she picked out of everything, was a vampire bat. 
caution for her bedroom. I'm so proud. <laughs> so very proud of her. <laughs> Bless her. Louise Lyon said, I can see a Christmas tree tower with lights on. Well, you yes, crack on. stop saying that word. I still have the nightmares. <laughs> I wake just, up in a cold sweat. I don't know. I've just missed a question, but somebody did ask, what did you make the stalks with? Now, Karen Naylor has answered it, and we've stuck a little bit of florist wire in. So do make sure when you give your cake away that you do tell them it's got some wires in. We can't give this cake away because it's all dummy. But if we were doing it on real cake, we would make sure that we tell them. Yeah, they're not going into the cake, they're just stuck into that bit of sugar paste, there's nothing. I would not say that that was an edible decoration there. Francis said, I thought Claire had a black mark on the cake, then I realised it was dust on my screen as I'm watching <laughs> on my mobile in the garden. Oh dear. What a wally. Got a gap, haven't I? Well, Francis, don't worry, because I call myself a dick, you call yourself a wally and we're going to get on very well. We're not supposed to say <laughs> the D word here. Eh? Hey? I'm not supposed to say the D word here. I didn't say the, the C word. word. The D yeah. word. <laughs> the D word, not the C word. You definitely don't say the oh, C word. What's wrong with a dick? Oh. What's wrong with a dick? I've got, I've got, I did, I did the head jock, Richard. Short and to dick. You did, didn't you? I did. So there we go. Right, a bit more to Carol do. Alan said it's like amazing how something so simple looks so amazing. Doesn't it look like a cartoon cake now? Do you get it? No. There's sprinkles on, doesn't it? Yeah. I've just got a little bit more black to do, then we'll sprinkles on, and then we're done. It's not nine o'clock. I know, we've got nine o'clock. Should we just stop then? Alright, see you next week. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> it's not how we do things here, we finished the job. So, bye. Leslie Green said you could always use licorice instead of florist wire. Yeah, you could yeah, use those little licorice right. things, but to be yeah. fair, if you wanted to do that, you could firm up some of the black sugar paste yeah. with a bit of tyre though and you do that as well. Could. Yeah. Linda Williams says I love the cake and Debs of Bowdridge says bloody brilliant. It's not finished yet. You could no. use some stalks of cherries, couldn't you? Yeah. And Francis, Francis, cherries Francis cherries. said I was yeah, being polite as we weren't in the hub Carol McFarland. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm glad some of us have remembered to be polite. <laughs> Our new mm. names, Wally and Dick. <laughs> Gasser says I need to do another Richard. Oh yeah, definitely. I didn't see it at the time and I, I feel like I missed out so yeah you need to go and watch it. So uh, Donna Jaffrey says I love it Claire. Cheers Jaffrey. Ms. James says yes it does it's brilliant. Sheila I give up. Meaning Sheila. she gives up with Sheila. Sheila still don't get it. Um, I think Sheila needs to go and have a lie down. Sheila have you got your glasses on? Sheila, where in the world was it five o'clock when this started today? <laughs> I take it you never watch cartoons then. <laughs> oh, I love you, Sheila. I really do. She's going tut tut. I was behaving myself here. <laughs> There's no hope for you, darling. Kit Curran says, super duper Claire. Oh, wow. Nikki King Richard was funny, yes. I've never gone back to watch it, can't cope. Yeah? Yeah. Is it on the uh, YouTube? YouTube, yeah. Great. Not what I'm doing tonight. No. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy watching the cringe moments. Do you? Yeah. Oh, I've got loads of cringe moments. So my cringe moments are Richard, um, making a horn, a black horn for a unicorn cake, cup and saucer <laughs> cake, white chocolate ganache cake oh. with the Bridges ganaching kit. Oh, Complete yeah. meltdown on that one. I remember that. Complete meltdown. I do remember that. I was watching it yeah. at the time. Which I'm it's fine. It's, right? fine. it's fine. You've got it right. I was having a meltdown. Yeah. Do you know what I can't cope with being told one bit of information and then and it changes? Not, yeah. And then I can't cope and I'm live. And I'm, oh, another meltdown was I'd asked Rachel Hannah to cover me a load of cakes in yeah. sugar paste. And then I came to luster them and the luster wants to the cake. Yeah, well, because they were dried dry. out. Yeah. And the audience had to help me out. I had to steam the cake. So I've had, I've had my moments, girls, as you know. 
I'm sure there's plenty of others. I know when John used to film, and I'm sure Simon has, John used to film and think, oh Lord, what's this going to look like? And then at the end he goes, oh my God, he said, I was really worried about it. I was thinking, what's going to happen? <laughs> Pulled it off. <laughs> right, I don't know if you can see here, but I'm going to try and do it how at best I think you can see. Oh, why did you scrunch up the black lines? You just made them. What black lines? Did you scrunch up some black lines? Before Claire, I might have. Claire Cope, well that question's just come up. Claire Cope, but why did you just scrunch up the black lines? You just, oh. You're making them again. Oh, did you oh, see the first one? They were ones? a bit thicker, for starters, and secondly, with the fan on, because it's so hot in here, they've gone a bit too crispy for me to bend yeah. into the right position. Yeah. So. Can you hear the fan? So uh, it is, I mean, I mean, we've really cooled down with that though, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, fun? it feels so much better, well, yeah. it was ready to drop before. Maeve Jane says, I was panicking with you that night, Carol, with the ganache. Oh, as much as I was panicking, Maeve, believe me. <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> I was at that moment going, phone bridges ganache room. <laughs> ganache yeah. room, ganache room, I was going, phone and phone bridges. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Oh, good times. <laughs> But it was you, wasn't it? And you were trying to be so reassuring. You were going, it's fine. Simon, so reassuring him, and I'm not. Are you joking? No, he was. It was going, you it's fine. That'll work fine. You it doesn't not. matter. He was. So I'm going to have to go and watch it again now. He was. And then, um, yeah, you were just like, no, it's fine. That doesn't make any difference. It will be absolutely fine. And uh, But you just were not listening to I'd it. I'd lost the plot. Yeah. I think at that stage it was just like, uh, shut up, so I'm not interested yeah, in what you stressed. say, I just want to hear from, <laughs> from Bridget's cake room and that's it. The thing is though, like when you're on the business page as well, I get very stressed and then you get, I think when you open wide to everybody as well, this is why I love the Make It, Bake It Learning Hub, because in there you feel quite safe with the people that you're in there with. I think when you go on the business page and you're live and you don't know who's watching yeah. and you don't know who's laughing. It's great with the people, your regular members who are commenting and that all the time. Oh, it's fine. But it's fine for like the people that you know to laugh. At yeah, you, you don't mind them laughing strangers. because you know them. Yeah. It's just that you know that there's people out there, people out there that um, relishing your misery. Yeah, that's exactly well, it. Wrong. Relishing it, yeah, yeah, having a laugh, sharing it. Oh, look at that. So, uh, May James says he was Carol. Simon was so concerned for you. Was you? That just he shows was. you how stressed I was. I didn't even notice. It really was. He kept trying to be really reassuring and tell you that it was to be fine. Fair, nothing was going to reassure me. That's the plot. I'm trying. Simon's repeating what I'm saying. Yeah. Whoever else, I can't even remember else. Well, there you go. Yeah. I, don't, I don't even remember. I've lost the plot. Oh. So I can't. Leslie Green says a cartoon cake. I think she's trying to explain to Sheila. A cartoon cake just means figures that are outlined. Think of a black and white drawing that's made into a cartoon picture in a comic, then coloured in. So for a cake, certain items are outlined, given the name cartoon themed cakes. You know what, Leslie? That is a perfect description, isn't it? Who's described that like Leslie that? Green. Well done, Leslie. Amazing. Well done. Cheers. Donna Jeffrey says, Sheila Harvey. I do hope you sleep tonight, but don't think about it too much. <laughs> Just thinking. <laughs> well, Claire Hardiman's off to watch Richard tomorrow. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> Should we watch it together, Claire? <laughs> Message each other. Yeah. <laughs> what time are you free, darling? So everything that Claire's used is on the wish list. So if you pop over to the Sugar and Crumbs website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, go to the FB Live wish list. Everything is in there. The Masonite boards, uh, the sugar paste. Sugar paste has got three pound off. So thirteen ninety nine instead of sixteen ninety nine. Nozzles have got seven pounds. Some the, the most expensive ones have got seven pound off. The others have got five and four pound off. What else was on offer? 
Loads yeah. of things on offer, isn't there? There's nozzles, the sugar paste on offer, the shipping yeah. is half price. The cocoa colours are still on offer at 19.99 for nine colours. If you bought any other brand, they would cost you £45. The colours are amazing. You yeah, they are the really, colors. really, really good. They're actually very good. You can use them for your chocolate, your sugar based, your buttercream, your Swiss meringue buttercream. Um, you can, like I say, put them in your chocolate as well. Um, but you must not add them to anything with meringue in them. Two to go, then sprinkles, then we can all go Claire home. Claire Hardyman said yes, that would be hilarious. She's free all day. Agreed. Let it Claire message Claire. Message Claire. Sam, you ready to sit down? You can both look, burst out laughing together. What are you watching? Carol Bate Richard, the hedgehog. Oh, right, okay. You're getting involved as well, are you free? No, to... no you're with Jeff, aren't you, tomorrow? Well yeah. No, he's working well, all day tomorrow. We're going to start an WhatsApp group. He's <laughs> working all day tomorrow. Hey, Claire, you're not in the cricket, cr cricket class tomorrow. Yeah, oh, I am. You're in the cricket class. I am, I can't watch it with you tomorrow, Claire. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, don't forget the cricket class part two tomorrow. So tomorrow it's all about vinyl, so it's how to label all your boxes in the cupboard, how to make yourself nice t-shirts. I've not got any t-shirts for you to do, but um, I have bought some bags and I've bought some pencil cases and some other bits and bobs. Are you bringing some t-shirts though? Um, Are you bringing a t-shirt? I'll see you around, sir. I think you'll have to, yeah. I want to nice. buy new ones. No, just bring an old one. Get a t-shirt made. Yep, so lots of discounts, so Claire's not in there tomorrow. You're on your own with that one there, Claire, tomorrow. Sorry, Claire. Yep. Sorry I had to, like, flake so quickly on our plans. That's embarrassing. And Maid Jane says she's getting on board. She's not seen Richard the Hedgehog. It's on YouTube. Oh, well, can it's everyone not... just hold off till I've got a yeah. free day it's not, called, it's not called Richard the Hedgehog. It's called Hedgehog. When you look for it, it got named Richard the Hedgehog by Michelle Ward, who sent me a lovely hedgehog. Where is it? It's in, uh, oh, I must have moved it down there today. Oh, I see it, yeah, sir. Yeah. I see you. Jo said she's just started watching and she loves the ACDC top. Thanks. And Jacqueline Penfold says, that cake looks brilliant. Thank you, Claire, for another brilliant demo. And thank you, Carolyn Simon. Yes, thank you, you two, for the Richard. slightly quieter than usual bands. Yeah. Richard the Hedgehog is on YouTube, so if you go to Sugar and Crumbs, look under Karen McFarlane for the Hedgehog cake and it's there, you'll find it. Elaine Lawson said Richard was the best live yet. I'm, I'm just dying to know what happened. When you say that it was like a meltdown. Now, let me watch it, don't ruin no, the surprise. I'm not going to tell you. I just don't ever want to go there again. <laughs> I've watched, I've watched about me making pasta large badly again yeah. now. Have you? And I have to say, it was hilarious. You were yeah. right, everybody. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> oh, look, I, I, come from, I looked like I was about to burn. I was seriously concerned for you. <laughs> so funny. I was looking at you making it thinking, why on earth would anybody want to make this? Well, if you get the recipe right, it works dead easy. <laughs> We found out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. You've got to laugh though, haven't you? You've got to laugh. I held it together reasonably well. <laughs> on the day. Oh, you've got to laugh at this. She's so funny, Debbie Argreaves. So it's about tomorrow's cry cut day. So Simon could have a t-shirt printed. It's not eight inches, it's eight and a half. That's a stretch and all. See, and if anybody doesn't watch often, then you know, because whatever I say it is, he always makes it a bit bigger or shorter. Right, <laughs> here we are. Wow, let's, pop let's some get those love arts shooting up the page. The laughing faces are shooting up the page at the moment. Look at that. If I join the cry cook uh, tonight, Carol, can you let me in? Yes, I can. You want to join that class? It's five pound. It's tomorrow. It's all about vinyl. You can still use. Uh, you can still do part one because the class isn't yours forever. It's still Don't the same forget. cutting method as well, though, isn't it? Pardon? It's still the same cutting method. You still use yeah, the yeah. same. But um, don't forget, if you're in the Make It Bake It Hub, use your code to get five pound discount. I can't tell you what the code is here because we're on the business page. If you don't use your code, you will not get a refund. 
the administration cost alone is more than the code, so I don't give them back. So just make sure you don't check out unless you put your code in. And if you're not part of the Make It Bake It Club, you are still getting a fantastic deal, an all-day demo session for £10, which is brilliant. So, big well done to Claire Corbett. This cake is looking fabulous, and I love it with all the little sprinkles on it. Oh, Nikki King's done it. She's gone and got the link. Oh, rip. Nikki! It's good, didn't say. Hey, I want to then spend half the day searching for it. On website. <laughs> Have a good look on that website. So, there she goes. She's put it on. Larry and Pike said, Claire, you are awful, but I like you. <laughs> Elaine also said, Claire, this cake is fantastic. Sheila Harvey said, because he's a man, half an inch makes a difference to them. Well, they think so. True. Ooh. Yes, they think so. We're all getting quite harsh now, aren't we? <laughs> I feel like I started it, but now I feel really mean. <laughs> sorry, Sam. Oh, yeah. No, not that, sorry. Sorry. Uh, Karen Holt said it was a fabulous live. She was in stitches. We're talking about the Richard one. I think you are. Uh, Mark, uh, sorry, Mark. Paula Perkins says, amazing cake as always, Claire. You are super talented. She is, and that's why we love it in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Paula. Yeah. Paula's so lovely. Pamela Poundset says, I'm sure I've seen it, but I can't remember, so I'll have to go and watch it again. You mustn't have seen it then, because you will never forget it. Uh, Carol Hines says, fantastic cake, fabulous life, thank you. Karen Naylor says, Cryker All About Vinyl is £10 on the website. It's also in the wish list. If you are a member of the Learning Hub, pop your code in. If you don't pop your code in, you lose it. Okay, so make sure you pop your code in. Don't ring the office, you will not get a refund. So make sure you pop that code in the voucher box. If you don't pop it in, you won't get it. The administration cost, the class is so cheap that the discount, by the time you phone the office and got a staff member involved, who then passes it to accounts and then accounts have to deal with it, the time and effort that goes into that is actually more than the cost of the discount and that's why we don't return it. Helen Williams says, I watch the Richard live whenever I need cheering up. <laughs> Sue Cook says she loves the cake, Claire. Oh, thank you. Beverly Cousins says, once seen, never forgotten, love Richard. Somebody sent me a gift, and I don't, I know it was, it was Michelle Ward. She named him Dick. Love it. And he's lived in the kitchen ever since. Oh, bless him. As a reminder of the oh, cake, because the cake got eaten. It's so cute. <laughs> so the cake got eaten, and Michelle sent me that as a reminder because uh, she said we never want to forget him. I've just, like, my curiosity is really peaking now. I'll have to watch it tonight. Claire, you staying up late tonight? I can't believe it you've seen that. And I don't. I mean, I'd heard good things, but like now you've really played it up for me. I've just got to see it. I, I think I'm to done. Say, I don't want to put anything else on. Can I just say, and do you all agree? I think the cake looked fabulous, but I think it looks sprinkles. freaking amazing with sprinkles. I think the I think the sprinkles just makes it the best. How many sprinkles have you got left? You can see the nose in the middle. Some of those cupcakes on the top in the middle. Finish it off. The cupcake on the cake. Ah, is it Yay, on? look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Where's right, phone? come on, start throwing those little ups out on the page now. Wow, wow, wow. wow. That's share fun. this live with everybody. And don't forget, share the live with all your friends, but don't share it into classes. They get upset in classes when the classes get um, full up with a uh, sort of all rubbish from everybody else. But so don't... this is rubbish? How dare no. you? <gasps> no, they're not allowed to share anything in classes. And you know with the news yeah. feed, you've got to keep it on track with what it is, isn't yeah. it? But some people forget and they share funny stories in there, they share all sorts of things in there, so yeah. we have to stop yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, Debs Baldish says, 
This is your best one yet, Claire. Oh, Everyone so loves it. Yet. Brilliant live. You get Amazing. Every week, Claire. Thank you. Yeah. Claire, you won't stop laughing after watching Richard. Oh, right, there's something about Richard. Shut up about Richard, all of you. Mae Jane well, says, it's you? amazing, Claire Bear. Hi, my Beverly share. Cousins, awesome. It. It's a fabulous, fabulous, says Joan Hall. Margaret wow. Goodall, love this cake, Claire. My grandchildren would love it. Leslie Green says, beautiful. Hasn't it been fun, though? Isn't it a fun cake to make? Yeah, isn't that fantastic? And I think everything about it is fantastic. And it's got better and better as you add each element. So even the swirls on the cake, by adding those little black lines, has really made it pop. I think when you put the drip on and you have the little black lines, it makes it pop. The same with the shells. And I think the sprinkles, well, what can I say? The sprinkles are fabulous. They're so cute, aren't they? Yeah, they are, absolutely. Wow, Carol Shields says, wow, 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 it's awesome. Diane Runnicle's fabulous cake. So there you go, absolutely fabulous. Any words from she hasn't got it. She's okay. gone for a lie down, I think. Okay. <laughs> so, um, fabulous cake. So this is our cartoon cake by Claire Corbett. It's absolutely fabulous. So when the blades come in, ladies, you now know what we're going to use them for. Mm -hmm. And Claire's got plenty of other di ideas for the blades as well. So just yeah. hold on. As soon as they come in, I will post into the Make It Bake It group that they are in stock. They're just a lovely, yeah. handy little tool to have around because you yeah, can just you use get, them for you anything. Get two for the, you get two in the price, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. You do. Yeah. But they're super sharp, so do be careful. But don't forget the wish list. Everything's in the wish list and the sale is on. Also, half price shipping. Uh, no, half price next day shipping for yeah. DPD, three ninety nine. dollars yeah. Priority, you can increase to 99 p if you spend over £40. Yeah? Mm -hmm. there you and go. don't forget that our Make It, Bake It, Decorate It hub is on offer. So you get from now until the 31st of December for £24.99. Right. Just go to the website sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, drop into shop and it's there. I also think I might put it in the wish list as well. Alright everyone, well thank you very much. Yeah, we sorry are 20 minutes you. late. Thanks for joining us and we will see you in class tomorrow, 10 o'clock sharp. Cara, it will be Jess. Karen, Simon and myself. I'll be bobbing in and out all day though. Alright then, see you there everyone. Bye bye. bye. Uh, stunning cake Claire, well thank you. Thanks Simon.